When you're working in SOLIDWORKS and you're trying to create your visualizations, you're doing renders, or even if you're just doing section views, there's not a whole lot of setup involved unless you need a specific tool at your fingertips. For the most part, everything's gonna be found on your standard commands. So let's just start a new part and let's take a look at where we can find things. The first thing that we're gonna to have to deal with is in the tools and add-in section. We're gonna to need to turn on PhotoView 360. Once we turn on PhotoView 360, a PhotoView 360 menu will appear, as well as a Render Tools tab. This is gonna give you the best location for accessing all of your render information. If you need to put it on your S quick key or your right click menu, you have the ability to do that, but it all depends on how you like to access your information. You'll notice that by default, when I click the right mouse button, I have an edit scene option. There are also other commands that we can add to here as well as access to recent commands. We also have a display manager which can display appearances by different order. We can display them by their history which was added first or last, alphabetical or in a hierarchy state. We can display decals. We can also display lights, cameras, and scene information such as a walkthrough. So all this information is at your fingertips directly in your command manager, as well as on your tabs and in the top toolbar. If you need access to things like exploded views and section views, those are all also preloaded in standard areas. For instance, if we right click on our configuration, you'll get access to information about the configuration, adding new configurations and properties for that configuration. We have display states already displayed at the bottom of our command manager. As you can see, we have this information at our fingertips. We have exploded views and section views available in assemblies. We can also do exploded views in parts, which we'll talk about in more detail in a later chapter. If you need to add any specific tools to get to them quicker, you can very easily do that by adding them to your S key, adding them to your right click menu, but 99% of the tools are already at your fingertips 